I took a pause from my Mars computer vision project for a class portfolio project looking at rice grain orientation. The idea is that the orientation of a rice grain in aggregate may influence the amount of rice passing through any given processing steps. As a proof of concept, I decided to do this on an individual grain level. However, processing every single grain individually would not be practical in an actual production setting. Nonetheless, the exercise itself was interesting and may have some useful implications for my later computer vision projects with Mars craters. For example, you can see the way this is working is finding elliptical approximations of the rice grains, and from there we're figuring out orientations. It's possible that I could be looking at outlines of craters and finding circular approximations using a similar approach to what I'm doing here with the rice grains. That is one of the future methods that I will be examining for finding craters. While I'm recording, it is a private repository. However, it will become public by the time the video goes live. The README has lots of information on how the entire process works. If you clone the repository, run the main script. From each of those runs, you will be able to find the elliptical approximation of any given rice grain and its orientation, including whether or not it is vertical, as defined as plus minus 30 degrees from the vertical reference axis. The individual images are present here in each of their folders. We have 15,000 rice grain images for each variety of rice. These are 250 by 250 pixel images. They are RGB, however, they are also practically grayscale. If you go to the original image source and download the images, for some reason Basmati was capitalized for Basmati 1 and lowercase for all the rest of them, which created some weird runtime issues, which you'll see if you look back through the commit history. Looking at the script itself, you import all of the individual packages that are required, along with the functions that were defined for this specifically. As I'm looking at it in a future iteration, I may remove some of these imports that are only in the function file and not in the main running file. Walking through each line, the first one here ensures that your directory is set to the correct location. For some reason, the script was not automatically executing in the folder that it was located in for the first few times that I ran it, which is why I had to add this line. The next two lines here are defining what the number and the rice varietal is that you want to search. That then plays into the file search to find that specific image and you receive a message reminding you that you need to close the chart program that results from your run in order to do your next run. Additionally, it gives you a time estimate of 1 to 10 seconds per query. Realistically, it's going to be around 6 seconds. The chosen image is red, converted into grayscale, and then the individual edges of that rice grain are found for the next processing steps. From here, an elliptical approximation of that rice grain is found. And then later processing steps allow us to find the orientation in radians of that ellipse based on the major and minor axes of the ellipse. We then draw that ellipse on the original image, draw a vertical reference line, and finally we plot it as the final layout. Let's do a sample run real quick to show you what that looks like. The file is run, it asks for us to choose a whole number. We're going to choose seven. We're going to choose Ipsala as our rice grain. And we now have our rice grain. This is a very interesting one. I haven't seen this particular elliptical approximation yet. The elliptical approximation is about half of the rice grain, which is highly unusual. However, the orientation is still close enough to tell us that the grain is not vertical, and that is, in fact, what I would choose if I was defining this manually. I've thought about expanding this as a Python package rather than keeping it as only a GitHub repository. However, I am not entirely certain whether or not that's worthwhile. If you have any thoughts on that, please let me know. This is MIT licensed, so have fun with the project if you are so inclined. If there are additional implications you can think of or use cases for using a grain orientation algorithm, I would greatly appreciate hearing those in the comment section below. To the stars!